Welcome to the tutorial for the University of Arizona qualifying site process. Through this tutorial, we will show you how to qualify your site, download the AZNN qualifying site form, and complete the template correctly. Let's get started. Before you begin filling out the form, you should make sure your site qualifies for SNAP-Ed. This can be done multiple ways, depending on what site you are trying to qualify. Keep in mind that all DES, WIC, Emergency Food, and Public Housing Service settings qualify 100%. If you are trying to qualify a school, a quick way to do it is to use the form itself. In order to qualify for SNAP-Ed, 50% or more of the students at the school need to be at or below 185% of the federal poverty level. To find the form, go to eatwellbewell.org backslash contractors, backslash housekeeping, backslash the dash basics. Or go to eatwellbewell.org, scroll to the bottom of the page, click contractors, then click the housekeeping tab, and choose the basics from the menu. Once on this page, click on the most recent qualifying site form to download it. The form is an Excel sheet with three tabs. We will go over the specifics of the tabs in another tutorial, so for now, just click on the Sites-Schools tab. Be sure to enable editing and content so you will be able to use all of the features of the form. The Sites-School tab has many columns that are locked, meaning you cannot type directly into them. This is because they are linked to auto-populate based on site name. Choose your school from the site name drop-down list. Now look over here at the schools only section. This will be filled with the percentage of students at that school that are eligible for free and reduced school lunch, meaning they are at or below 185 percent of the federal poverty level. If this number is 50 percent or greater, your site is qualified. If it is less than 50%, your site is not qualified through the free and reduced lunch program. If you find your site qualified through this method, you can move on to the tutorial for filling out the rest of the form. If you found your site did not qualify, move on to the next tutorial to see other methods to qualify your site. 